the home and seized 55 dogs. Leaders say Butters is very skinny because he wasn't being fed properly, but now he's getting back into the swing of things. Um, they were just in terrible, terrible condition. And so bringing him out of that into now a stable home where he has his own bed and he can eat three meals a day and, you know, not be in his filth all day. It, it, it's wonderful to be able to pro provide that for him. Leaders with the rescue say they're working with Arizona police to press charges on the woman who hoarded the dogs. Well, food, fun, and family and friends, that's what one upcoming <laughs> event is focused on. And it's all to benefit our local law enforcement. Danielle, tell us what we need to know. Adam, listen closely. When I say night out, you say yay. Night out? Yay. All right. I like the spirit. <laughs> I'm so excited, Adam, because, you know, last week we did talk about a fun community event in San Benito that allowed attendees to meet local law enforcement. And, well, now we've got another, but this one for officers in Elsa. It is a chance for our Rio Grande Valley residents to come together and rally for a national night out event and everyone's invited again no matter where you live in the valley and you are right adam there's gonna be food there's gonna be fun there's gonna be a lot of activities for us all to take part in which is great because it's gonna help us to bring everyone together plus there are gonna be different games to partake in and that means plenty of prizes as well making the entire event even more exciting it's all happening tomorrow and it's gonna take place at their Joe Stevens Avenue building in the city of Westlaco, so be sure to mark your calendar for then. It's a great chance to brainstorm about any concerns that you might have uh, and talk about that with local heroes and get involved in how you can make sure uh, to have a community that's safe for everybody. Now we are talking a great way to spend your evening and just network with people who might invite you to maybe neighborhood watches or other cool events or groups that will benefit your area. And all you have to do to attend is visit rgb911.org for all that info so that you do not miss out on the the night out. I'm so excited. Well, look, I already heard Adam has the, the spirit for it. Jessica, do I you? Do. I do. <laughs> yeah, no, this sounds like another great opportunity. <laughs> I haven't got to attend any of the ones so far of the night out where you get to talk to the officers. I love that they're doing this for the community that we're able to go in person, meet, talk about some of the concerns yep. we have, and also to thank them for everything that they've done for us as a community. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That is important. Thanking your local law enforcement. You know, P, uh, what is it? The paramedics, yeah. you know, everyone that everyone. goes out there because these are huge. Like these are hosted across the nation. Yeah. We've seen them in Brownsville, San Benito, Harlingen. Here we are in Elsa. Yeah. But one of those big things that you mentioned, which I think is so important, <laughs> is if you do have concerns, you know, you can go and you can express them to your yeah. local law enforcement and then kind of speak among your neighbors, you know, yes, that neighborhood yeah. watch. Those are so important and so cool to get to know your neighbor. A lot yeah. of times I feel like it's we're true. so into our own space. We don't so kind true. of adventure out yeah. and kind of yeah. Do community with our, you know, neighbors. I know. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Guys, I wish we lived near each other. We already text each other. I know a lot. we yeah. all live like across We're very all sus. over. <laughs> yeah. Oh there gosh. But we can attend an event like this to get to know our neighbors. For sure. Yeah. It's not only for people of awesome. Elsa but neighboring cities as yes, well, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Very awesome. cool. Well, we still got more to come. <laughs> Hackers are getting more and more creative. And up next, a warning about a new scam that can steal your money.